All right, Shalom, Shalom. First off, and for most always, I want to say, Kohle Mla Yehawa, Bahashem, Yahavashai, Bahashem, Rakakwadash. Double honor being to the elder apostles of Great Millstone that do rule and teach well. And a Shalom to you, Ankim out there that's pushing his truth through the spirit, through the power, and through the name <coughs> of Yahweh, Bahashem, Yahavashai, Bahashem, Rakakwadash. Okay, so this is going to be a quick lesson. You know, um, you know, going into, you know, the uh, the MOTB ultimately. And, um, you know, this article I came across, you know, and actually, you know, I came across a few trusted sources on the same topic of the digital ID in which, you know, uh, ultimately, you know, the 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 end game for the elites is to have everybody, you know, chipped. You know, with the MOT, which is the you know the MOTB, but this right here, you know, I speak as a man. Of course, this is a uh, you know a stepping stool, you know, towards the MOTB, you know, because uh, you know uh, these Babylonians, these Americans, you know, they're uh, they're looked at as sheeple by the elites, you know. So, you know, and, and you know the sheep, and what does a sheep do? You know, a sheep is very simple you know it, it, it just it follows the crowd you know it's very docile you know and uh these people you know just like just like how they took the, you know the the jump shot they're going to take the MOTB you know and right here and at this in, in this case is the uh digital ID and um yeah man this is a this is something that you know well, is going to be, you know, uh, how can I say it? Uh, it's going to be, uh, well, for lack of better words, you know, uh, a stepping stool towards the MOTB. And now, of course, speaking as a man, you know, because, um, you know, um, you know, either way, you know, the MOTB is going to happen, you know, and, uh, you know, I'm, I'm very excited to see how it's going to play out. But I came across this article talking about digital IDs, you know, because uh, Esau, you know, he's 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 uh, get, getting these people, you know, comfortable with, you know, biometric, you know, systems, you know, uh, more uh, digital payments and things of that nature. So this is, you know, another case of that. OK, so this is from the uh, source natural news dot com. You know, it's a very good source to uh, keep up on privacy. It says uh, Americans who refuse to sign up for, quote unquote, a voluntary government issued digital ID may be de may be denied health care services. You see, so just like how it says with the MOTB in, Re in Revelation 13, if you don't have that MOTB, you can't buy or sell. You can't you know, you can't eat. You can't you can't be in society, basically, you know. So right here, just saying that the digital ID if you don't take this, well, you got to be denied, denied health care services. OK. So right here, it says, um, I'm just going to skim through this. You know, I, I skimmed through it a little earlier, but I'm going to get the uh, the meat out of this uh, article. So it says um, before his term ends, President Joe Biden is planning to sign an executive order to speed up the nation's adoption of a standardized, you see, of a standardized digital identification platform controlled by Washington, D.C. So he wants to, you know, and ultimately these presidents, you know, they're puppet leaders as well. OK, because you have to realize that, you know, they're not the ones really calling the shots. You have, you know, the uh, the, the elites are behind this, you know, behind this whole thing. You know, the presidents are nothing more than puppet leaders and they're just doing the dirty work, of the elites. OK, the elites are the puppet, the, the puppet leaders. OK, excuse me, the, the, the elites are the puppet master. Excuse me. So, you know, Biden, you know, guys like Biden, Trump, uh, uh, Kamala, you know, uh, um, um, Elon Musk, you know, Bill Gates. Those guys are, you know, just puppet leaders, man. You know, they're, they're, ju they're just the face, you know, uh, uh, that the elites are, you know, giving you. And the people think that, you know, they're the guys pushing the buttons. No, 
there's a whole bigger boss behind this, okay? And it says, uh, Biden is planning to sign an executive order to speed up the nation's adoption of a standardized digital identification platform. So, so this, so they, so, you know, uh, they want this to be standard, to be, you know, the new form of identification. Okay. So, and real quickly, um, this is, a uh, the website called the act, the activist post.com. Okay. Activist post.com. And this is going in about the same topic, but right here, uh, on, on their, uh, on their, um, article, the title says, whether through Biden, Harris, or Trump, digital IDs are coming to America. You see, it says whether through Biden, Harris, or Trump, digital IDs are coming to America. Okay, so whether, so it doesn't matter who gets in office, it's still a win-win because ultimately, prophecy is going to be, you know, is going to be, you know, manifested regardless. It don't, it don't matter who gets in office because for us, for us men of, the, men of the Lord, for us, you know, servants of Yahweh Bashmal Shai. It's a win-win, you see. Now back in the uh, naturalnews.com in this article, and it says, and actually, uh, I, I'll just, uh, Lord as well, I remember, I'll put, you know, um, the articles that I'm using, I'll put them in the um, description box, you know, if you wanted to, you know, go through it further yourself, okay? So right here it says, back in Natural News article, it says, the digital ID system, will require Americans to verify their identity and age in order to access certain public web websites and services. This includes Obamacare and other government-run health care plans that will only be available to Americans who agree to participate in the digital ID program. You see, so if you want, if, if so, if you want to you know, uh, get, you know, health, certain health care, well, health care, you know, uh, or in general, you know, and, and other services, you will guess what you got to get this ID. Okay. So if you don't have this ID, you can't, you know, get certain services. All right. You know, and, 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 and that's why it says, you know, want to them who trust in Egypt. Okay, because, you know, uh, because uh, Egypt, meaning, you know, this is a Babylon, Egypt, right? So the ones that trust in Egypt, you're going to fall right along with it because, you know, what they're show what they're doing right now, you know, they're, they're uh, slowly, you know, uh, uh, you know, getting you, you know, um, getting you uh, ready for the MOTB. Okay, first, you know, the, the, the jump shot. Now, you know, now it's a digital ID. Okay, now before you know, it's gonna be a, a a chip inside you, man. Okay, these people are gonna fall right along with Babylon, man. Two thirds are gonna go. Okay, the heathen are gonna go, especially these women. You know, these women they're gonna fall right along with this shit, man. Okay, and a, and a lot of people, you know, that are poor, are gonna fall fall right into this, man. All right. So Esau, he's making it harder for you to participate. In society, if, if, if you have certain, you know, uh, credentials, you see. And it says, um, it says a nonprofit media outlet called called Notice. OK, it's spelled N-O-T-U-S called Notice obtained a draft copy of Biden's E.O. to stand for executive order, which states that, quote unquote, it is the, it, uh, it is the policy of the executive branch. To strongly encourage the use of digital identity documents, this program the program is optional, but in order to access healthcare services, renew one's driver, driver's license, or log onto public services portals online, users will have to agree to participate. Otherwise, they would not be allowed to access anything controlled by the government online. So damn. So if you don't have this this digital ID, you can't participate in shit. You know. You can't participate in things that that is you know that is government controlled. You can't, you know, uh, uh, get, get a license or, or or a new one. You know, can't go to the DMV and probably get a registration. You know, I'm speaking as a man, of course. You know, you, you can't get certain, you know, uh, uh, you know, health services. You know, so if, hey man, if you don't have this, then you're basically shut off from society. You see, if if you don't have this new digital this new form of digital identification, 
then you know then Esau can't deal with you. Okay, how much more when the MOTB comes, you know, on the scene? If you don't have that, then you can't participate in society. You can't buy and sell. You can't you, you can't do nothing. You can't make transactions. You see, but that's why it says, you know, trust in the Lord, you know, because it says in Isaiah 65, it says that my servant shall eat, my servant shall drink. Okay, so we're not going to take that shit because we know that the Lord is going to protect us and 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 and, um, and and provide for us. Okay. And it says, um, according to notice, Biden's EO could reshape how Americans access government services and potentially behave online. Biometric technologies like facial recognition are included as part of the system. To, to quote unquote help better verify identity online we are told okay and right here it says um this is this is just a side note that's in the article it says um it says uh related talking about like a related topic it says related australia just passed a new digital id program of its own that will put everyone's most sensitive personal information and in databases Controlled by the government and private interests, you see, and I believe I did a lesson on this a few months back. You know, Australia has a new digital ID in place. Okay, and, and, and as you can see, this is uh slowly but surely, you know, creeping up upon you know upon these Babylonians. You know, you know, but people fail to realize that Esau, he's he's trying to put the, he's trying to put you in a digital prison. Okay, he wants to put you in a in a uh, in a, a digital prison, and have you uh, and, and uh, keep you on tabs constantly. Okay, that's what that's what that's what he wants to do ultimately with the MOTB. And why is that? Because he thinks that he is the Most High. Let's get that real quick. Okay, he thinks that he is you know God, man. You know. So this is the book of uh, Second Thessalonians, chapter two, and verse. Um, Three, and I'll get this in the NLT. <clears throat> second, second Thessalonians two and verse two. Excuse me, verse four in the NLT. It says, "He will exalt himself and defy everything that people call the Most High, and every and every object and every object of worship." Right, man. So he 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 exalts himself. You see, like like the scriptures say, "He that exalts himself shall be abased." You know. So ultimately, you know, this devil. You know, he's put himself on a pedestal, but soon, but soon the Lord is going to, you know, break him down, you know, very, 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 you know, uh, harshly. OK, the Lord is going to, you know, put his, you know, take the dude out of the power seat. OK, and it says he will even send the temple of the most high, claiming that he himself is the most high. You see, so that's that pride, you know, that pr the pride of Esau had to see him, man. You know, he thinks that he is the most high because he. Has the power right now, you know. He's been given the fat, the fattens of the earth, you know. He's been given, you know, the uh, the, the dew of heaven. He's been given, you know, the the uh, the uh, the power of the sword. You see, so he has all this power, you know, and, and he thinks that he's untouchable, you know. But just like how you how a shot told uh Pontius Pilate, let's get that real quick. <clears throat> real quick, this is um. John 19 and verse 11, it says, Yahweh Shai answered, Thou couldest have no power at all against me, except it were given, except they were given from thee above. Right, man. So, you know, uh Esau thinks that he in power, but guess what? The Lord gave you that power. You know, Esau thinks that he, you know, he uh he's in power because of his own will. But no, you are in power because of the Lord. Okay. So really, Esau, had, you have no power at all, you know, because the Lord gave it to you. You know, the Lord, the Lord most high is in control of everything. OK, so Esau is nothing more than a mortal man, just like the movie, The Wizard of Oz. They thought The Wizard of Oz was some great, you know, some great God, you know, some some some, some powerful deity, you know. But but uh, but all along, it was some, some old decrepit Edomite behind a, behind a damn curtain. You know, being being a damn scaredy cat, man, <laughs> you know, so that's how these these elites are. You know, they're just old as men, you know, uh, uh, just cowards, you know, very evil men, 
you know, just, you know, uh, just uh, calling shots behind the scenes, man, behind the curtain. OK, but the most high gave them this power, you know, to do so. But soon that power is going to be taken away from them. OK, so let's head back to uh, Second Thessalonians um, 2 and verse 4 in the NLT. And it says he will even send the temple of the most high, claiming that he himself is the most high. You see, so he thinks that he's the most high, man. You know, this dude wants to put a, you know, a chip inside you. He wants to, you know, uh, give you a digital ID, you know, and, and keep tabs, you know, uh, keep tabs on you, man. OK. People don't realize that he's he wants to control you. OK. Esau has been getting the, the masses comfortable for years, for decades, all, you know, all the way up to this point, just to put a, you know, a C, a C hip inside of you, man. You know. So let's keep going. Now, this is a different part, a part of the article. And it says, uh, it says Apple, Google, helping Deep State to build d digital ID systems for total control. You see, let's read it again. It says, <clears throat> it says Apple, Google, helping Deep State to build digital ID systems for total control. Okay, and what did we just say? He wants, he wants, he wants to control you, man. All right, he wants to, you know, uh, uh, control you as if he's the most high. OK, now it says none, 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 of, excuse me, none of this will be possible without the help of big tech companies. OK, and, and Slocky and uh, Deep State is another title for the elite. OK, so it says none of this will be possible without the big help, excuse me, without the help of big tech companies, Apple and Google, both of which are said to be working with the United States government to build digital ID systems that quote unquote, allow Americans to carry identity documents on their smartphones and friction and frictionlessly submit them to both government and private sector websites for ver for, for verification. You see, <clears throat> so guess what, man? You know, uh, you know, Apple, you know, Google, okay, which are very, you know, which are very huge corporations, you know, companies, you know they're working together with the with the U.S. government to build these digital ID systems. You know, and guess what? And when and when I see Google, I think of who? Bill Gates. Okay, I think of Bill Gates, man, and, and that devil. You know, he, you know, he's, you know, we, you know, we know what he's about. So, you know, just put two and two together, man. Okay, it makes sense why Apple and Google would work with the U.S. government. You know to uh to push forth these digital ids okay so how much more the MOTB? you see and it says um this is a dream come true for the war economic forum which has stated in the past that digital identity is is quote unquote the sum total of the growing and evolving mass of information about us and our profiles and the history of our activities online it says um It says, um, Michael Reckenwald, author of The Great Reset and the Struggle for Liberty, unraveling the global agenda, told the defender that digital IDs is much worse even, uh, much worse even than what the WEF admits it to be. Right. It is worse because ultimately, like I said, ultimately speak as a man, it's going to lead to the MOTB, but even right here, even right here with the digital, with the, with the, the digital IDs itself, you know, that's a whole, you know, um, that's a whole, um, how can I say it? A, uh, a, uh, attack on people's freedom, you know, attack on people's, you know, livelihood, if you will, because, you know, if you don't have this digital ID, you can't, you can't get this, you can't get that, you know, you are denying certain services. So they're already, you know, um, you know, force you to take it because if you, if you don't have the digital ID, then you can't part participate, you know, to get, you know, certain services, you see. And it says um, digital ID is not merely a new, more handy, lightweight digital form of identification, he warns. It refers to a collection of data that uh, that properly defines who we are, including what we do both 
online and offline and not merely to a means by which we can be identified as such. OK, it's like it's, it's, it's kind of a lengthy article, but I'll read a little more. It says, um, let's see. Oh, right here. Let's get this. It says, as usual, poor people will be hardest hit by the digital ID requirements. Right. You know, the poor people. OK, because the poor, you know, they're at the bottom of the barrel. You know, they did. You know, they don't have the resources. They don't have the money like the rich do. So so they're going to get hit harder. And who's the number one as poor? Jake, you see. So Jake is, is going to get hit harder by the requirements of the digital ID and how much more the, the requirements of the MOTB, you see. And it goes in to say the rich and powerful will likely be exempt while everyone else is forced to become digital cattle to be herded by the deep state. While surfing the web, you see, so 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 the rich and powerful, you know, the, you know the the elites ultimately the, the deep state, you know they're gonna be you know exempt from the struggles, you know and from from you know taking the, the digital ID, because you know they're the ones that's doing it, you know they're the ones that's behind the plan, you know of of this whole ordeal, okay, and it says um, digital ID and the standards that did that dictate them are still very new and yet the white house is ex is uh, expediting digital id uh, digital identity for the most vulnerable of populations okay then eh, let's see huh eh, that's really it let's see uh okay it says uh <clears throat> it says uh, another threat to the digital id is that what Biden and the deep state are planning <clears throat> to unleash is only just the beginning. Later, later iterations of the system will likely be vulnerable to what is known as function creep, meaning those running the system will find new ways to probe people's private lives outside of the system's original purpose, including its potential use as a way to verify people uh, jump shot status. <clears throat> you see, so. So, yeah, man, this is so ultimately, you know, this digital ID is a stepping stool for for something, you know, uh, uh, more harsh, something more, you know, um, you know, more, um, more, uh, uh, more scarier. And that's what the MOTB. OK, so this is so right here. You know, this is nothing, you know, uh, light, man, because uh, all roads lead to the chip. You know, and this right here is a perfect example to use that, you know, Esau is going to get the people ready to be chipped, you know, and this right here, a digital ID. Come on, man. Come on, a digital ID. Come on, man. Let's stack this cursor real quick. This is the book of Second Corinthians. Chapter two. And verse 11 in the NOT, and it says. So that Satan will not outsmart us, for we are familiar with his evil schemes. And that's right. You know, we are familiar with this with this dude's schemes. You know, you know, we're not we are not uh oblivious to what's he trying to do. Okay, because the people, the sheeple, you know, you know, they're oblivious to what's you know, to his plans. You know, they're oblivious to Esau's, you know, his agenda. OK, and that's to, you know, put you in a digital prison, you know, and and, and put a seep inside you, man. You know, and, and the MOTB, you see, but we see, but we read, you know, between the lines and we and we see what we see what's happening. OK, you know, and that's why it's good to keep up on the signs, because, you know, uh, you know, when you're always watching and always, you know, meditate on privacy, then you're not hit off guard. And that's why a lot of people, you know, they're going to be caught with guard because they're not familiar with Esau's evil schemes. OK, they're not. Fam they don't know that Esau is a fucking devil, man. And he's going to say smooth things unto you to make you feel good. So that way you get caught in this trap. OK, that's why it says Thessalonians that he's that he comes to, that he comes to do the work with Satan. All right. He's not doing it for your benefit. He's doing it for his benefit through Satan. Okay, so don't fall for his bullshit, man. 
That's why it says in the, uh, in, in the KJV version, it says that we're not ignorant to his devices. You know, you know, we're not ignorant to his his, his evil plots, to to his uh, his evil purposes. Okay. This is the book of First Thessalonians, chapter five and verse. Um, let's see here. Uh, first, first Thessalonians five and verse um, six. It says, "Therefore, let it says." Um, actually, let's read in the NLT. First Thessalonians five and verse six in the NLT. It says, "So be on your guard, right, man? Be on your guard. You know, uh, you know, be circumspect spiritually and physically. You know, it says not. It's not asleep like the others." Stay alert and be clear headed, right, man? Just be clear headed, you know. Always keep it on your watch, you know. Always watching off of prophecy, you know. Always, keep, you know, uh, you know, um, staying in the loop, you know, because a lot of people, you know, they don't know, you know. And actually, let's read in the KJV, it says, Therefore, let us not sleep as do others, so they're sleeping right now, you know, they spiritually sleep, <clears throat> you know. You know, they're spiritually, they're not uh, um, aware of what's going on around them. You know, these people out here, these Americans, these simple Americans, they're not aware that, you know, the government wants to give them digital IDs and ultimately want to uh, put a, a C-hip inside of them. OK, they, they think they think it's going to be for their benefit. But no, no, no. This for their this is for the, you know, the least benefit It's for the benefit of the government. You see. So that's why it says, therefore, let us not sleep as do others, right? But let us watch and be sober, okay? And uh, let's see here. I'm, I'm just curious to see what that word sleep means. Let's see. Uh, okay. So the word for sleep is kathiudu or, or kathiudo. And it says, um, uh, to sleep normally, to be dead, right? So, you know, so, you know, people are, they're spiritually dead and they're sleeping, right? It says, um, to be indifferent to one's salvation. Wow. To be indifferent to one's salvation. Okay. And, um, the word indifferent, it means, um marked by a lack or a lack of interest uh let's see here marked by a lack of interest enthusiasm or concern or something you see so these people you know uh you know listen they, these people don't know that you know uh well ultimately i'll say it like this these people don't care Okay, because you know us servants of us servants us servants of Yahweh Shemar Shai as believers, you know we care about our salvation, you know, and that's why we're not you know going to conform to this devil's system, you see, and, and conform to the you know to the ways of, of society, and but people out here, guess what? They're going to, so you know you know so they lack, you know that uh that fear in Yahweh Shemar Shai, you know they lack that that enthusiasm toward their salvation. Which ultimately is for Jake, okay? So they're indifferent to their salvation, but we're not because because we want to be saved, you know. We, we, you know we want to be delivered, you know. So so the people out here, you know, guess what? Ultimately, they don't care, okay? They don't care, man. So let's head back to the scripture, First uh, Thessalonians five and verse six, and it says, "Therefore, let us not sleep as do others, but let us watch and be sober." You see. Be sober-minded, be clear-headed, okay? Because prophecy is unraveling right before our, our our eyes, man. And that's why it says this. Let's uh, get this real quick. This is, um, let's see here. This is the book of uh, Sirach, chapter 39, and verse 1. It says, uh, but he that giveth his mind to the law of the Most High and is occupied and is occupied in the the meditation thereof will seek out the wisdom of all the ancient and be occupied in prophecies you see 
and be occupied in prophecies. All right. And that word occupied. We can look it up in the uh, the uh, etymology. Occupied means to take possession of and retain or keep. OK. It says. Um, to grasp. OK. To possess. All right. So. We are always occupied of prophecy. We are, we are always, you know, um, you know, taking hold on prophecy, you know, uh, staying updated upon it, you know, and and you know, and 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 uh, retaining it, okay. And and once we retain it, we we tell the sheep and warn the sheep, you know, and feed the sheep so that way they're not, you know, left in the dark, so that way they're not, you know, clueless, you know, of what's going on, you see. So that's why it's good. It's good to be always occupied in prophecies. And to be, you know, up to date on what's going on around you, you see? And that's why, you know, earlier, we read, we read the article, it says, Americans who refuse to sign up for, for voluntary government issued digital ID may be denied health care services, you see? So, so, so this is all a stepping stool towards the, uh, you know, the deep state, you know, getting the people to be chipped, okay? Everything's going digital, man, you know, the... uh. The Fed has gone digital, you know, now the ID is about to go digital and soon the money is going to go digital. But soon it's going to be mandatory because because one can say because somebody could say, well, well, wait, you, you, you have the, you have payments that are digital. You know, you can you can pay with your, you know, your uh, your cell phone. You, you can pay with, you know, a, 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 a tap of a, a tap of a credit card. You know, you, you can pay with your palm at, uh, at Amazon store. But guess, but guess what? Okay, that's true. But soon it's gonna come a time when people are gonna be paying with the with the RFID micro C hip, and that's gonna become mandatory. That's gonna become the new actual currency in your lifetime. Okay, so that's why it's good to be updated on privacy and be you know um and, and be in the loop of what's going on. You see, that's why it says in Thessalonians we just read it. Don't sleep as do others sleep because we have to, you know, uh, uh, we have to be aware of what's going on. OK, because we're living in the, in the last days of the last days. And Esau is about to, Esau is about to start, you know, what well, he, he, he's doing. He's doing it. You know, Esau is about to start making his moves, you know, uh, even more. OK, so that's why, you know, we got to, you know, stay, stay in the course and, and remain focused, man. OK. This is, um, oh man, I had a scripture in my head. Um, oh yeah. Yep. The water you help, the water you help, I smile shy. Matthew 24 and verse, um, 32. It says, now, now, uh, this is the words of Yahweh Shai. Matthew 24 and verse 32, it says, now learn the parable of the fig tree when its branch is yet tender and put it for the leaves, you know that summer is nigh. Right. So likewise, ye, when ye shall see all these things, know that it is near even at the doors. And guess what? We're seeing these things, you know, we're seeing the pestilences, we're seeing the famines, the earthquakes, you know, the upwards of the people. OK, we're seeing, you know, the you know, the uh, the, the articles on the MOTB and articles on, the, you know, uh, new digital IDs for uh, for these Americans, you know. These are all, you know, uh, indicators that we are getting closer to the end. You know, these are all indicators that we are getting closer to, you know, the end of Esau and the beginning of Jacob. OK. So, so just like how so just, so just like how Yahweh said, know that it is near even at the doors. What's near the end of this world? You know, you know, the, the, you know, um, um, our salvation, you know, Babylon being destroyed. Us being delivered, okay. How is I returning? You know, the things are at the door, man. You know, and that door is waiting to be, you know, opened. You see, and it says, um, "Very I say unto you, this this generation, this excuse me, very I say unto you, this generation shall not pass till all these things be fulfilled." Right, man. So these things must happen, man. You see, all these things must come to pass before, you know, before we, we get into the kingdom. OK, just like how I said in this same chapter, he said, um, he said, uh, 
the, the end is the end is not yet. Okay, these are these are the beginning of sorrows, but the end is not yet. So even though things are going to be happening, you know things are going to be you know going on taking place, but it's not the end yet. Okay, but once the MOTB you know becomes mandatory, and once the, once the MOTB is you know comes in the scene, the thing is going to speed up. Just just like how Paul Tahar said, man. Once the once the, the MOTB become becomes you know uh, um, you know uh, mandatory. And guess what, man? Things got things gonna speed up like no other, okay. And let's see here. Yeah, man, I believe that's that's the that's the lesson, okay. And actually, let me just get this. This is Revelation thirteen, and verse sixteen. It says, "And he calls all, okay, that he's talking about the elites, okay." But like the article says, the deep state, right? It says, and he calls all, both small and great, rich and poor, free and bond, to receive a mark in the right hands or in their foreheads. You see, so whether you're an, an a child or an uh, an uh, adult, whether you're rich and poor, whether you're a blue collar worker, whether you make a six figure, you know, a uh, company. You know, whether you have a six figure company money, whatever you want to, however you want to call it, you know, whether you're in prison, jail or out here in the streets of Babylon, guess what? You're going to be you're going to be required to take this, the MOTB. OK, because it's going to be the new it's going to be the new way of, of commerce. OK, e-commerce is going to be the new way of, of, uh, of transactions, the new way of buying and selling, you see. So this digital ID, okay, is getting is getting the people, you know, warmed up into accepting things, you know, more more digital, you see. Because Esau is giving these people, you know, breadcrumbs, okay, he's giving these people breadcrumbs and and and, and he's building the people up to be uh to be um to be uh what's the word I'm looking for, to be uh desensitized on taking the MOTB because people are, are they're already used to paying you know you know with their phone or with you know a wave of their hand okay you know through biometrics okay now he's now he's now he's gonna give the now he's gonna introduce people to a new digital ID come on man you can't tell me that he's not getting the people warmed up to, to take the MOTB all right these people are getting you know put into a trap very slowly man and it says to receive a mark in their right hand or on their foreheads, okay? And that's physical, man. That's literal, all right? To receive a karagma, right, in your body, all right? And it says, and that no man might buy or sell, okay? Save he that had the mark or the name of the beast or the number of his name. So if people don't have that, then you can't function in society, point blank, period. But like I said earlier, that's why, you know, us servants of the Lord, us servants of Yahweh Shemal Shai, we have to remain faithful unto the Lord, man. Because it says, my servant shall eat, my servant shall drink. Okay? The Lord the Lord will provide, man, because people that take this MOTB, they're going to be, you know, uh, they're going to have a guaranteed spot in that nuclear fire, man. And, and that lick of fire that, you know, that John the Revelator saw. All right? People are going to be burning. You know, for a very, very long time, people are going to be suffering and being tortured in, in that fire, man. All right. So the so the, the repercussions of taking that MOTB is nuclear destruction. You see, but the Lord got us, man. We ain't got a trip. We ain't got to worry. You know. The Lord said, take, the Lord said, take no thought for tomorrow, man. Let me snag this real quick, though. This is Isaiah 65. Actually, let me see what it says in the NLT. Isaiah 65 and verse uh, 13. It says, therefore, this is what the sovereign Lord says. My servants will eat, but you will starve. My servants will drink, but you will be thirsty. My servants will rejoice, but you will be, but you will be sad and ashamed. My servants will sing for joy. But you will cry in sorrow and despair, you see? 
So guess what, man? We don't gotta be worried about you know uh, that that damn MOTB, man. You know because guess what? We not taking that shit. Okay, don't take that shit, man. All right, and we gotta pray to to Yahweh that we have the strength. We have the strength in that day, not not to take it, man, because because it says it's gonna be the hour of temptation, and the word temptation means what? The enticement to sin. So we can't. So we gotta have that spiritual strength. And have the and, and and have that mental fortitude through Yahweh Shmuel Shai to be strong enough to to not take that shit, man. Okay. Because guess what? You know, ultimately the Lord's gonna be our provider, like He is right now. The Lord's gonna have us, you know, uh, uh, you know, eat. The Lord's gonna have us, you know, drink. Okay. So don't worry about that stuff, man. It don't matter if you know uh, if you're if you're um if you uh, if you also if you ultimately Become a pilgrim, like the scriptures say, you know, and be a pilgrim upon the earth. Hey, man, regardless of what happens, the Lord is going to the, the, the Lord is going to protect us and deliver us, man. All right. So don't fret about the, the times that are coming upon us, because ultimately, you know, we are just looking at prophecy unravel. OK. And being that prophecy is, is unraveling. That's us getting close to the kingdom. OK. That, that, that means that Yahweh Shai is about to return very, very soon. So we should be happy, man. All right? So with that being said, I just want to say, call name La Yahweh, Bahashim Yahweh Shai, Bahashim Kakwadash, double honors be unto the elder apostles, of great millstone that do rule and teach well. And I shall allow to you, Ankim out there, that's pushing the truth, through the spirit, through the power, and through the name of Yahweh, Bahashim Yahweh Shai, Bahashim Kakwadash, and Lord's will, the Lord's sheep was fed and edified. That being said, shall I want?